Good afternoon, this is the National Weather Service in La Crosse with an update to the severe weather briefing for today, September 3rd, 2014. We're expecting two different rounds of severe weather over the next couple of days, the first being late tonight through the overnight hours, and then again Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. For late tonight, the main area of concern is north central Wisconsin, mainly along and north of Interstate 94. Timing wise, it would be mid evening through the overnight hours, with the main threats being damaging winds, large hail. An isolated tornado is also possible, along with the threat for heavy rainfall. The confidence in this area is high. Across western Wisconsin, mainly along the I 90 corridor, the timing is about the same mid evening through the overnight, along with the same threats of damaging winds and large hail, but the confidence is a little bit lower. For the severe weather threat Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening, the main area of concern is western into central Wisconsin during the mid-afternoon and late evening hours. The main hazards being large hail, damaging winds, and heavy rainfall. However, the confidence with this severe weather round is on the low side. For the severe weather risk later on this evening through the overnight, the greatest risk appears to be from the Twin Cities area through Eau Claire into north central Wisconsin. Further south and west, severe storms are still possible, but the confidence is lower that the storms will track this far south. Again, the main hazards are damaging winds, large hail. An isolated tornado is possible, but that would mainly be across central Minnesota into far western Wisconsin, along with a threat for heavy rainfall. Severe storms are expected to develop across central Minnesota later on this afternoon through the early evening hours and then track east into Wisconsin after 8 p.m. Here's the severe weather outlook for today. Slight risk is across central Minnesota into the northern half of Wisconsin. The hail probabilities are centered more so across central Minnesota while also the tornado probabilities are highest across central Minnesota, Minnesota into far western Wisconsin. The damage you wind threat extends further east into Wisconsin, but also includes parts of central Minnesota. Here are the probabilities for this evening, what we think the radar could look like later on this evening. The highest risk appears to be from Eau Claire and along and north of Interstate I-94, mainly impacting Taylor and Clark counties, including the cities of Medford and Nielsville. Further south and west you go, the risk is a bit lower, especially towards western Wisconsin around La Crosse. Again, the threats are damaging winds and large hail. A tornado is also possible further north and west when the storms initiate later on this evening. For the severe weather threat for tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, it shifts eastward and mainly impacts central into northern Wisconsin. The greatest threat appears to be along and east of the Mississippi River from La Crosse to Medford, including Wisconsin Dells. Main impacts for tomorrow would be damaging winds and large hail and heavy rainfall, though overall the confidence for the severe weather is on the lower side. So a quick summary for the impacts expected for the next couple days. For today, timing would be mid-evening through the overnight hours with main threats being damaging winds and large hail. A brief tornado is possible. The greatest risk is along and north of Interstate 94 in Wisconsin. The low risk lowers as you for travel further south and west along I-90. Storm spotters will likely be needed this evening into the overnight hours. For Thursday, the threat time would be mid-afternoon through the late evening hours, mainly into western into central Wisconsin. Damaging winds and large hail are the main threats, as well as heavy rainfall. Stay up to date on the latest weather and severe weather possibilities through our Facebook and Twitter pages, as well as the YouTube channel.